What's up guys and welcome to my first video of the 12 days of anime series that I'm going to be doing. So, let's talk. What's up guys, Steel Frodo here. So I am kicking off my 12 days of anime Let's Talk series with probably the most talked about series of 2016, or at least one of the most popular, Mob Psycho 100. This is one of those shows that kind of kicks off right from the start. You press the play button and there's like a flurry of stunning animation, colorful characters, and you didn't even get a chance to get comfy in your seat before this even started happening. So unlike the show, let me explain some things. Mob Psycho 100 follows a young ESPer named Shigeo Kageyama, also known as Mob. He's actually an apprentice to the self-proclaimed greatest psychic of the 21st century, Reagan. And uh, spoiler alert, he is a total fraud. Not Mob, but Reagan is a total fraud. And it's not really a spoiler, they kind of established that really, really early on, like episode one. <laughs> But they also establish early on how powerful Mob is. I mean, look at this intro for the character. How is that not incredible? And then look at the very beginning of the series. This is how it kicks off, and that has to be Mob. So that kind of gives you an idea of what you're in for. Now, because these 12 days of anime reviews are going to be a fairly kind of short format review, I'm mainly going to be talking about what stood out to me with the show. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step aside from the plot real quick and talk about how the show actually came to be. So this series was actually written by the same guy who did One Punch Man, the manga writer One. You know, the guy who made uh, a name for himself, making hilariously dry humor and creating a character who seems extremely unrelatable because he can end the universe in one punch and then still made him relatable. Yeah, that guy. And if you thought One Punch Man was amazing, you have to see this series. I tend to be a very visual guy, so the way this was animated really stood out to me. And to be honest, it deserved the team that it got that brought this world to life. Like, in all seriousness, this show bleeds artistic style. I mean, just look at it. It references the original content. The end was actually key animated by one himself, which I thought was a really, really good touch. The opening kicks off with really good animation. There's some odd types of styling with glass painting put in for the ending and just ghosts made out of glass painting it's 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 hard i, I don't want to fanboy over it but it's it's amazing i i love it as a visual person i love the way this show is animated and it deserves the credit it got and the team really deserves a round of applause for what they did However, don't think that the animation is the only reason to stick around for this show. There's a lot more. The animation is what kind of sucks you in, but the story is what keeps you invested. The characters are all kind of relatable in their own ways and very likable. Uh, Mob, for example, is a fairly awkward middle schooler, and he has this desire to kind of become better without needing to use his psychic powers. And this is actually shown in a really creative and funny way when he joins the Body Improvement Club, despite his very weak figure and lack of stamina. The whole story actually does have quite a few, quite a lot, actually, of relatable characters, because, you know, everybody can use ESP and kind of make things float up to them and you know that's normal right I'm normal no in all seriousness if you have not seen this show you are missing out the whole story builds perfectly each big character has their own moment to shine which makes them feel like they actually belong instead of just being there for the sake of the show the stakes get higher and higher and the, the fights get more and more elaborate and everything kind of just rounds out to an end perfectly while still leaving enough questions behind to maybe warrant an OVA or even a second season, which I think would be pretty awesome. So like I said before, if you guys have not seen this show, you are missing out. Even if you're not really into anime, you should definitely give this show a shot. It is, it's definitely worth it. So there you go, guys. That is the first of my 12 days of anime. I hope you guys liked it. Um, like I said, these are going to be fairly short format reviews because I have to crank out 12 of them, and I'm probably going to be doing at least two or three of them per day, which is going to be a little bit of a challenge, so we'll see how I do with that. But thanks again, guys, for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, I hope to see you guys in the next 
uh, 11 at this point videos. And uh, like I said, I'm still going to be working on getting this green, getting used to this green screen, getting used to how it works and all that kind of stuff and getting used to putting things on it. So uh, yeah, make sure to be there for the next few videos and I will see you then.